Hello, and welcome to Aim Lab Aim Tips. My name is Ron Rambo Kim, and in this video, I'm going to share a few drills to help you with your wrist flicks. All right, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to test how far your crosshair moves when you bend your wrist to the maximum right and to the maximum left. So right now, we're only going to focus on left to right. Some of you guys will have really good flexibility, good joints and ligaments, and you'll be able to bend your wrist a ton, providing you more range of motion. And some of you out there might have limited wrist bend capability, you know, through injury or maybe your, you know, ligaments and joints, uh, arthritis, that kind of stuff. So we'll make the best of it. Um, the cool thing is, is that you can also adjust your sensitivity to make up for poor wrist bend. All right, so the way to test your max left and right wrist bend is go ahead and center your crosshair in the middle here on the center orb and go ahead and just bend your wrist to the maximum right. And when you're bending your wrist, I don't want you to over force it. You know, like you get to a certain point and then you're very close to your max right wrist bend. So don't push past that point. I don't want you guys to stretch beyond your comfort zone or you know, something that's gonna tear your body, okay? So that's my maximum right wrist bend. And then let's go back to my neutral point. And I'm gonna just repeat this a few times. So my neutral point, I'm in here in the center of the orb. Let me bend my wrist to the right. And if I can get my finish point more or less on the same spot right here, then I know that I'm very consistent with my wrist bend. And that's gonna set my right wrist bend and give me an idea in the game how far this crosshair moves whenever I bend my wrist to the right. After that, we're going to check the left side. So here I'm centered in the neutral, bend my wrist to the left. Let me go ahead and make sure and wiggle around. I'm in neutral, bend to the left again, and it's starting to end right there. So again, neutral point. And then, yeah, so pretty consistent there with my wrist bend. So one of the keys to having this reliable maximum left and right wrist bend that gives you a reliable amount of how far the crosshair moves is the pivot point. So if my wrist is solid, stuck in place onto the mouse pad, and I bend my wrist to the right and to the left, as long as my wrist isn't shifting or my form isn't shifting, there isn't gonna be any variation between how far my crosshair moves. So if I just go back to the middle center point, and I'm gonna keep my wrist actually on the table here. So as I look here, bend my wrist to the right, go back to center neutral, bend my wrist to the left. So as long as again, this anchor point is on the mouse pad and I'm not shifting with my forearm or changing the angles, that maximum right and left wrist bend will maintain the same. So now that we have our maximum left and right wrist bend, now we've got this working zone or our um, working aiming cone, this range that we know that our wrists are capable of aiming within. So now we need to figure out how to aim in between this max left and right wrist bend. And what helps me is trying to thinking about it by um, slicing it into uh, degrees or angles or certain distances. So let's say, you know, again, if I max right wrist bend, it's right there. Well, what is it like to go halfway to the right wrist bend? So now I wanted to, to half this, right? So this is my right wrist bend. Now, how do I get to the halfway point? And I just want to calibrate and just continue flicking here and try to get to that halfway point. And now what you can do to test yourself, let's say, okay, well here, uh, here's my midpoint and here's my halfway point. So there's this distance in between um, the center point and the halfway point, right? So now what I wanna do is reposition my wrist and my hand in the center point and then flick to the right. And I just wanna isolate this halfway distance. So here, I wanna get my crosshair to what I believe is half of my max wrist bend. And this way you can really get used to um, breaking up that cone or that max range into segments now. So now same thing you can do the left side. So let's say I'm in my center point. Here's my max left wrist bend. And now I wanna place my crosshair somewhere in the middle here. And now I wanna match this distance towards the left side. Now we're just isolating the left uh, halfway bend. This is a great way to kind of build up into mastering or getting that hand-eye coordination, those wrist flicks into segments. And while you're testing these halfway points and max wrist bends, you can also do, you know, like 25% of your wrist flicks, 75% of your wrist flicks, whatever have you. The key thing is, is that you try to make these distances consistent. So let's say I'm just going to do 25% 
well, let's just do 25%, right? So I don't want you to go to a max right wristband and then half wristband and switch it up. We're trying to build that motor memory, that wrist flick memory of those particular distances over and over. And once we get really good at halfway point, then we can go to 25% and do about 10, 20, 30 of those and so forth. So if you've been noticing how I've been doing my flicks, what I've been doing is that I'll start in my neutral position, I'll pick my distance, I'll flick, I'll shoot, and then I'll immediately reset my crosshair back to my original starting point or my neutral point. And this is kind of the advanced way. And the reason why I like to do this is because it helps me reset back to my home zone, my, my neutral point. And I feel like this is the area where everyone has the best aim is in their neutral point. And if you're a beginner FPS gamer or new to flicking, or maybe you have a new sensitivity, I would definitely recommend doing this flick and then stopping as soon as you shoot. So for example, here's my target, here's the distance I wanna try. I'm gonna flick and then shoot immediately and then just hold my position here. So here's an orb, I'm gonna go ahead and just miss this. And then I over flick and now in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, well I missed by this much. So let me go back to my neutral point and then redo it again. Okay, I'm a little bit off there and then I'm a little short. And this way it helps your brain kind of fix the misses that you're making and you giving yourself time to recalibrate those wrist flicks and the different ranges when you're taking it in slow-mo like this and really um, being introspective and not just, you know, flicking instantly over and over again, uh, but giving yourself, you know, brain time, I guess, to prepare and then fix those uh, misalignments and miss flicks. And then if you wanna work on your vertical wrist flicks, like your up and down, beyond just your X axis flicking, same concept, you pick a distance that you wanna work on, and then I'm trying to match this distance every time I flick and get really good at this particular distance. So as you see here, I'm taking the time to make sure that I'm matching that distance, and then I'm thinking about how much I need to flick and what that feeling feels like when I'm successful. And then I'm just repeating that motion. And then here you can see I'm doing the kind of more advanced version where I flick and then I move back to my center point. And then the more basic version is you just go ahead and flick and then you shoot and then you just hold your position. So here, like that, and then so forth. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. If it was, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our social channels to stay up to date with gaming performance content.